So today I want to talk to you about the most important elephant to your manifestation. So we already know that the energy that you put out into the universe comes back to you. And if you don't believe it, you're not going to experience it. That's why some people can live a life where they don't experience anything paranormal because that's not within their reality, right? But some people who have these crazy experiences all of the time and have all of this like energy that they deal with, right? You have to believe to be able to see the magic within the world. And when I tell you there is so much magic, it's there. And when you have a third eye awakening, you literally are opening up to that magic. It's also known as a spiritual awakening. You are getting signs and symbols and messages and absolutely everything that you do. You just have to listen and you have to listen outside of the box. Once you strengthen that belief system, then you can really manifest. Manifestation is really all about knowing your intention and then creating your reality based off the belief that you already have it. Manifestation is actually done in many ways. A lot of times people can do it like Christians. They use it as prayer. Um, that's asking the universe God for something, right? Other people call it a wish. And then we even have witches who do a specific type of magic which involves using like elements of like energy. So basically they believe that jasmine brings on love and apples bring on love and when they combine them together it strengthens that belief system in order for them to complete their manifestation but that's why they always tell you if you want to do magic you don't necessarily have to have tools but sometimes they help strengthen that belief and that's all you want to do is strengthen that belief that you already have it people use tools like scripting which is writing down what you want in manifestation there's also the uh, belief that you can go to sleep and play a video in your head over and over again, like a three second clip. And that's how you manifest by taking your subconscious and taking that energy over and over all night. So the more you focus and believe on something, the more it comes to you, right? So if you focus, believe it, then it's going to come back to you. A lot of the times people try to manifest too and they try to manifest things that are way outside their comfort zone like you can some people can manifest lottery winning numbers overnight right but if you can't believe that it's possible for you then it's not gonna happen for you so what I think is important when you're doing manifestations is small jumps over in time until you start to have those strong beliefs and then that's when you can do the big kahuna, the big magic the big manifestation the big energy pause for Rose it's also about holding frequency Frequency is basically energy. It's a vibration. There's polarity. So you can have low vibrations. You know, those are the negative things. Or high vibrations are higher, right? The higher the vibration, the more you're going to be able to create things because that's with less resistance within your environment. That's where you're at a place where you're let, there's the least resistance. Abraham Hicks calls it the vortex, basically. And if you haven't looked up Abraham Hicks yet, I definitely recommend you look into them. There's incredible information there. There's so many different ways that you can manifest too. But the biggest tip that I can give you when you're manifestation, when you're manifesting, is to try not to overcomplicate it. When you complicate it, you complicate the energy, and then it's hard to bring in that frequency, right? And keep on that level of frequency. I've done manifestations sometimes where I'm like, I have 100 subscribers by the end of the week. And that's all I say. I say it one time. I give the universe a time frame to go ahead and meet my standards, right? And then I just let it go. And if I think about it, I think positively about it. If it does come up within my mind, right? Then we check at the end of the week. And guess what? Every single time, 100% of the time, I have gotten my manifestation like that. I really started this technique when I was uh, really upping my YouTube channel, right? I had a YouTube channel and I had it for about six years and I had about 150 subscribers. Very difficult for me to go ahead and up that platform for myself, right? And in less than a month, I was able to get to 1,050 subscribers. And then I decided, let me go ahead and take a break from this and just see if this is like organically coming, right? The second I stopped manifesting, that's when the subscribers go went on a lull, right? So think about what you want. Be specific about it. Think about it in a positive way. 
right? And then think like you already have it. Great small manifestations is to visualize a parking space being open for you. And then when you get there, it happens. Or don't put any labels on it or put it inside of a box. And if you want to do a big manifestation, go ahead and do it. You just have to strengthen your belief system and know what you want to manifest because you can't have what you want if you don't know what you want, right? And sometimes it's hard for people to sit there and think about what they want. And I know that's one of my struggles because I'm typically happy within my environment, right? But you can always dream bigger. So create a wish list. That's what I've been doing. I write down on a piece of paper everything I want the second that I want it, and then I usually go back after, look at that list, and then try to manifest the things coming to it. And it happens every time. So watch, I am going to start manifesting that my social media following starts to grow and my platform starts to grow. And you guys can watch in real time how fast it goes based off of my manifestation. We are literally super powerful creators. We are not just some puny little human beings, right? We are literally gods and goddesses. And it may sound delusional if you're not within that frequency or if that's not within your mindset, right? But like I said, once you open that up to that belief, then you can see the whole world as it is. That it's a magical and amazing place to be and there's so much things out here for you to experience. So just take my advice and try to manifest things. Anyways, if you like this kind of content, subscribe for more, follow for more, and uh, I'll start posting more about all this. Keeping Bro, she's so cute.